Welcome investors to the 40 Finance channel. My name's Jeff Beers. Got a fun one for you today. I'm gonna make a price prediction for Microsoft stock in 2022. And no, I'm not just gonna pull it off the top of my head. We're actually gonna go through the sort of the valuation basics of picking a stock target. I'll walk you through that process from my end and then we will assign a price, uh, my best guess for Microsoft in the year 2022. Reminder as always that my stock picks and projections are just my opinion for your entertainment. Please talk to a financial professional before taking on the risks of the stock market. But if you do enjoy stock market analysis, personal finance videos, then please subscribe to the 40 Finance channel and give this video a like. Thank you to everyone who supported the channel so far. All right, so let's kick things off by seeing where does Microsoft sit today. Got a stock price at 221.15. And you can see the chart on the right that this monster has just been going up and up and up. We obviously had the uh, COVID dip there, which hopefully some of you grabbed uh, the $132 shares that were available back in March because we are almost $100 over that price. Looking right now at two important metrics that will help guide us for the price prediction. You see in the yellow box, we got P ratio today of 3839 and an EPS over the last 12 months of 576. All right, so professional stock analysts spend a lot of time uh, going through the numbers in a company. It's not a one hour thing. It is basically, you know, spending months figuring out, going through financial statements, how a company makes money, what does their profit level look like, and how does it all trickle down into earnings per share. So what we're gonna do today is take the best work of analysts on earnings per share in 2022, and then we'll apply that to a projected PE ratio, and that will give us the price uh, for 2022. Okay, so a couple guidelines for how we're gonna do this. You see on the first bullet point, uh, the formula is very simple. Our price will equal the PE times the EPS. So we just have to figure out the PE and the EPS and that will formulate the price for us. Down below, you got a couple other important points. Microsoft fiscal year runs July through June. So their earnings report this year was on 72220. And that was essentially their annual. That was the close of their annual. Uh, so this prediction is for late July of 2022. And then last but not least, as always, this is subjective data across the board. I'm using analytical skills, you know, that I've used for years. And the way I approach things may not be the same way as, as you approach things. So please note that there's a lot of subjective data in here, aka opinions, and that's how this game of price targets work. All right, so the first step in getting our formula is to tackle the EPS price. So we know what EPS is today, obviously, because it's reported in hindsight. But now we have to look ahead to the EPS for 2022. And that means we have to get through eight more quarters of Microsoft earnings reports uh, in order to hit this right. So a lot of things change uh, over eight more quarters. We got the four quarters in the 20 to 21 fiscal year, then we've got four quarters in 21 through 22. This is actually a little bit easier with a big company like Microsoft because the growth rate is fairly consistent. Uh, they have a nice track record, uh, so it makes it somewhat easy to predict, but there's no guarantee that past performance equals future performance, correct? We will just take the hard work of our stock analyst friends uh, that is posted on Yahoo. So at the top of the screen, you got the earnings history, but the key there is in the green box. That is the difference per quarter the sort of surprise percentage. So at the top, you have EPS estimate. That's what analysts collectively thought would happen. Then the second row is EPS actual, and that's actually what Microsoft reported. Then there's the difference, and finally the green box. 
So you see, over the past four quarters, Microsoft has had surprise earnings, favorable surprise earnings, each time. You put those last four quarters together and you get an average. The average came out a little high in my opinion. So you see off to the right, we'll use plus 10%. So what I'm saying here is, whatever the analysts think is gonna happen in 2022, we have some historical data that shows Microsoft uh, surprises on that typically. They could be a sandbagging type company that would rather come in at earnings uh, rather than sort of announce that they're beating everything. So we're just gonna use 10% and add it to the bottom where the blue is and you can see across the top line sort of where that arrow is pointing up that's your current estimate okay so 646 and 734 the reason that that arrow is there because it's amazing how quickly those estimates are climbing so look across off to your left you see 90 days ago the current year EPS estimate was 621. Then you go to the top, it's already at 646. This is 90 days ago, all right? Then you look over for next year, 2022, which is the one we care about. 90 days ago, that EPS estimate was 718. Today, it's all the way up to 734, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a pretty big jump. So what does that mean? Well, in my case, I'm going to use an $8 earnings per share for the year 2022. And you see a couple notes there. Uh, I'm expecting at least a 10% surprise uh, from where we're at today. And I'm calculating a slight ding from economic uncertainty, which I'll get into later. So I pulled back a true plus 10% and just rounded it down to $8 even. All right, so we have our projected EPS of $8 even for 2022 for Microsoft. Now we have to speculate at what level, what valuation Microsoft will trade at in 2022. And this is very difficult for a couple reasons. One is you don't know what the sentiment will be about Microsoft. So you don't know if, if um, investors are willing to pay up or they're looking for a deal. And then secondarily, you don't know which way the market will be running in 2022. So right now we're running at hot, hot, hot uh, price to earnings ratios. Uh, and it doesn't uh, take a genius to look around. Everything is up. Every stock you look at is trading at a higher valuation uh, than it was just a few years ago, particularly in the tech sector. So let's take a look at where Microsoft's been valuated from a PE standpoint and make our PE projection. All right, looking off to the yellow box. This is trailing PE across the past few years. Right now we're at 37.58. Uh, that's just a point off of the 38 we saw on the first slide. And the reason is is because these um, statistics live in different places so they don't sync exactly. But what we see across the board is that Microsoft has more commonly traded around the 30 PE mark. You see I put a red mark in 2018 where the PE rose to 66.63. I'm just calling that one an outlier. Very few of those in Microsoft's long history. So we'll skip it and we'll call it an average of 30. So now the question to ask off to the right, will PE still be running hot in July 22, we've got potential for a new president. We have interest rates at historic lows with nowhere else to go but up, quite frankly. And then there's always China, right? There's always China and trade. So these are X factors that are impossible to predict, but we have to think about them. All right, so here's what I'm projecting. See in the yellow box on the bottom right. Microsoft will trade at a PE of 32 in late July 2022. 
My rationale here is market P's will come down slightly as interest rates begin a slow upward trajectory. You look up to the top on my original consideration points. Uh, new president in this case, if that were to happen, I don't think it's gonna affect Microsoft a whole lot except in the, probably the tax department. Interest rates, I think one of the things we're seeing right now in the market is there's definitely a, a section of people who are investing in the market because there's nowhere else to invest to get a return. If interest rates creep up even just a tiny bit, uh, some of those online savings accounts and bonds uh, could take some money out of the market and then that would lower the valuations that people you know, care to trade at. So that's a lot of my opinion in a quick statement, but the bottom line here is I'm going with Microsoft PE of 32 in late July of 2022. All right, so just like old school algebra, we've got our variables. Now let's get to our price. Right there at the top of the board, you can see my projected price for Microsoft 257.60. That's only 16% up from today. So I think a lot of people would be, uh, call it disappointed in that number at plus 16%. But it's mathematically sound if you believe that the EPS target and the PE target, you know, align with your uh, train of thought, so to speak. Now, let's see what happens if we modify a little bit. If we say that Microsoft EPS comes in lower, but the PE in today's market doesn't change, we go down to 795 on the EPS and keep today's PE of 38. Now you have a stock price of 278.25. So you get a feel for the importance of valuation in stock price. Now at the bottom, let's say Microsoft earns way more money than we thought. You get a higher EPS of 825, but the market sinks a little bit on PE. You get more value investing and less speculation. Now your price is down to 239, which is, I guess, about 17 or $18 above today. All right, so what's the bottom line with Microsoft stock in 2022? Well, regardless of what you think of my price projections, Microsoft certainly is a great long-term investment and you can dig through piles of research and financials to see that. Don't forget the small dividend that Microsoft offers, which is only gonna go up from where it stands today. Now, for everybody who wants to call me crazy for having 257.60 as my price for 2022, just keep in mind that there is some fundamental math that has to work out. So if you're gonna say that Microsoft is going up to $400, uh, tell me what that EPS is and tell me what that PE is, because you're really gonna struggle uh, to get there on the $400 mark. And of course, one of the biggest considerations of projecting any stock price is all the crazy things that influence the stock price. Things that we couldn't possibly know. Even the pro analysts who spend hours and hours and hours looking through Microsoft financials, reading every report about them, they cannot control things like the economy, tax rates, international trouble, you name it. There's so many things that are out of our control, but with a company like Microsoft, you're as close as you're gonna get uh, too predictable, I suppose. And then from there, you just have to have a theory on the world as a whole. And last point for today, and hopefully you guys saw it on that last slide, how important PE is uh, to purchasing a stock. The price that you pay for earnings in a stock really says a whole lot about where you think the company's gonna go or where you think the market's gonna go. Right now, I would say anyone who's very bullish on the stock is very bullish on more money coming into the stock market because valuations are sort of historically high, to be quite honest with you. And they're certainly historically high for Microsoft. So if you buy Microsoft tomorrow, or, or let's say you start a new position tomorrow, you're saying like, hey, uh, EPS might go up, let's call it 10%. But this PE, this level that Microsoft is trading at, this valuation will remain constant going forward. So in order for my stock to go up in price, 
people have to continue evaluating it the same way or more and the EPS has to grow as well. All right guys, hope this makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to do another one of these price projections for your favorite stock. Thanks as always for your time. Please give me a like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.